you smell that cedar? One of the most versatile, inexpensive building materials is a fence board. And always available. I took these off my neighbor's fence just last night. Welcome to the Weekend Warriors Home Improvement Show, built by Bar Lumber. Your Weekend Warriors, Tony and Corey. Tony, today let's do something different. Something fun. There's two things that uh, I really love. Wine. <laughs> in birds. So we thought we would make a bird feeder using a wine bottle. We did some research, we came up with a really cool design. It's amazing how inexpensive and easy the materials are to come by and how quickly we think it'll come together. But ultimately, we'll just have to see how it goes. So under five bucks. Depending on what you paid for the wine. And this rope, which could also be a wire hanger and those are cheap. Tony made this really cool drawing of this bird feeder idea. So we're just gonna pull some dimensions and start putting this thing together. The first thing we need to do is measure the bottle. We need to come up with an overall length and that should give us a couple of first cuts that we can make. This baby is 12 inches tall when the cork is out. 12 inches tall to there. What about yep. to here where we're gonna set? It's about seven and a half inches right there. Maybe okay. seven inches. All right. Seven to seven and a half. It looks like it's about three and a half inches in diameter. Okay. I actually laid the bottle down on our uh, craft paper covered workbench and uh, sort of drew uh, a picture around it, which would allow the bottle to just sit right into this little bird feeder with a roof on it to cover it from the rain. We'll just need to fasten the top of the bottle to the back of the bird feeder to keep it from falling out but it seems like it should work pretty simply. Yeah, so I'm gonna get the pencil and I'm gonna make some uh, drawings of the pieces that we need to cut and come up with a list. Then uh, we'll start making some cuts. Sounds good. The fence board is five and a half inches wide. So we're going to start here. We're gonna go five and a half inches. We need a straight edge. Right here's the level. Level, a Judd level, a, a gym level. Three and a half inches wide, the bottle is. And it's 12 inches tall. 12 inches tall. To the peak, about 16 inches. So this is a one by two wrap around the bottom. This isn't just a flat bottom in the picture that we are working yeah. with. We need to think about the widest board. So if like the roof is gonna cover the side on the front and back by a half an inch or something, then that's the widest board. So we need to rip these boards. Then these would need to be cut down some bit. Well, but not much. Well, I don't think we can do that. What's this dimension going to be here? I mean, if you could turn a board sideways, then you could just make it longer. You know, if you have this situation here, and your, your things are five and a half inches or five and a half inches, and it comes down like so. So you don't have to rip anything. And then you have a little space down below to hold all the seed. And then everything's the same. Five and a half, five and a half, five and a half. Roof's five and a half. Let's do it. Capiche. 45 degree angle. Yeah, I'm already see. ready to cut. So five and a half inches divided by two is what? Yeah, this is the back piece. Yeah, the back piece. Now are we going to put the side pieces? Yeah, just like that. Like that? Yep. It's like a lot of planning, but the cuts are gonna be super fast. How, what's the full height on that back piece? 15 and a half? Yeah, approximately. That's all right, it fits. So the back will hold the roof tops, right? And then the sides will fit right onto the side of this and also hold the roof top, so. Yep, so that would be this piece. It's a little long, but it doesn't matter. It's perfect. So the sides of the bird feeder will have the top, the roof tops, the two roof top pieces will sit on top of the sides. And since the roof is at an angle, 
the top of the side will have to be cut at a 45. We took a measurement from the long point of the 45 all the way to the bottom where it hits the bottom. And so I'm gonna make a measurement to the long point and make that cut. You need to cut it on end. An eighth too long, but we can trim it. Honestly, it doesn't even matter. We could leave it long. Oh, yeah. Okay, now we need the roof. The roof. The, the roof, roof is, is on fire. fire. Eight inches. Okay. Out here like so. Easy. Not too deep, too far. <laughs> too big of an overhead. Looks good. That's money. That's great. What is the depth gonna be here? This is gonna be five, five yeah, inches. Probably five. Just cut a four, inch, four and a half inch piece off. We wanna double it up for strength. Okay, so, so we need a drill there. and a hole saw. Of course, this has a huge warp in it. <laughs> you think? Yeah, it does. We'll just have to hold it in. It'll be fine. I'll tell you what, I'll hold it, you cut it, it'll be fine. I have vice grip hands. Vice grip hands. But drilling a, these things, dude, they no. walk. No, they don't walk. Show me how it works. Well, should we measure? So we're at two and, two and three quarter. That's dead center. Is that gonna be, it's gonna be okay? It's gonna be fine as long as you're not worried about taking a chunk out of the workbench. Or we put it on top of something. Just hold on to it. <laughs> we probably don't need to put a weird slot in it, do we? Oh, you will. You'll have to put a slot in it so you can get it in there. If we made it taller, like, how are you going to load this thing? That's what you have to think about. I was thinking about it. I have given this thought. How high off the board do you want this? About an inch or less. Maybe three quarters or a half. Now that's our bottom. And then this piece. Should we use the multi-tool for that? Yeah. So now that we've cut a hole in the center, we're going to cut a slot on either side. For that, we're going to use this multi-tool. I wish you could be here in the studio with us because the cedar smells amazing. One of the things we could do is just take that sander and hit all the edges with the sander just to make it uh, a little less splintery. Oh yeah, flexy, flex, flex. Maybe we will want to cut a piece. Double it up for strength. Saute. It's like one inch. Cut me a one inch piece. One inch, you say? Wood glue would be nice, but we'll just pin nail that. So we noticed that the cedar fence board was a little bit weak in the middle here where we cut it. So we cut this little backer piece uh, that we're gonna fasten to the bottom to give it a little more strength when we put our wine bottle in. Okay, we're gonna have to make some noise. We need a base. We need a bottom. A base. B -b 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 -base. I'm all about that base. Cut in it. Yes, perfect. This is sweet, dude. It's turned out good. Now we need to wrap our pieces. Should we nail this together? I think so. So I'm using one inch long galvanized brad nails to nail these together.
It was feeling really good, but in true Weekend Warrior fashion, we made a mistake. We measured for the bottle, for the tip of the bottle, to be about three quarters of an inch or one inch from the bottom of the thing, but we assumed that the bottom was gonna be on the bottom, underneath these side walls. And then we cut it short and put it on the inside. We're gonna pull the bottom out, cut a piece that's, I don't know, an inch longer, and uh, actually fasten it right to the bottom. That'll give us another half an inch between the tip of the bottle and the bottom, which will allow a little more bird feed to come out. We don't wanna skimp the birds. I mean, they need a lot, you know what I'm saying? They need sustenance, like Big Bird. Six and a Six half. And a half. Well, Six and a half. Measure it in the back. Six, Six and three, three quarter. quarter. Much better. I mean, is that the idea? So you put this in here, put it in there kind of tight. Mm -hmm. I think like this, that. that's the idea. Yeah, you have it, you tie the knot so that this doesn't ever get any looser inside here. You were right about yeah. the hole size. Just like that, dude, that is money bags. It's perfecto, so easy, it goes in so easy. You fill it with bird seed, put your finger over it. Dude, it's good! It's good! I really like it. So now we need to cut these. So I need two pieces at an inch and a quarter. Okay. So now I need pieces that are seven and five eighths. Yeah, that'll do. All right, project done. There's a paint can with one of those metal paint handles on it. Oh yeah. Take one of those things and just I guess if you had it up against a wall, it would be okay. And you hang it, it brings the rope nice and tight. Yep, snugs it. Take that out, you can, like that. And then when you put it back and hang it, it, keeps it tight. Well, there you have it. Don't forget you can pick up these fence boards at par, the wine bottle, I'm not sure, and an old paint can handle, probably in your garage. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Do I have something in my eye? Thank you so much for watching. Please check out our social channels right here, our podcast channels here, or tune into the Weekend Warriors radio show every weekend across the Pacific Northwest. This has been another episode of your Par Weekend Warriors. We'll see you next time. This is happening.